Hi, John with Citizen Survival Plan here. Today I want to talk about the best handheld GMRS radio for SHTF and preppers. Um, I got two with me today uh, that I kind of want to just showcase, and these are my two favorite at the moment. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to talk about the ultimate radio um, and what that would be, uh, the best one that would ever be made. Um, let's start with the GMRS Pro. Uh, this is kind of a newer radio. It's been out for a year or two. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got a compass on it, which I don't really care whether that's there or not. Um, it's five watts. That's what GMRS allows. Um, some of the pros on this is it is waterproof. Uh, the second thing is it's got an audio relay on it. And I have this piece of tape on it. it lets me know that I have it on. Um, because you have to activate it with an app, which I don't like, um, which is really cool because I can take a radio and this is going to, it's going to repeat anything back to, to me from, from the audio relay, which is a really cool feature because you can, you know, if you're in an emergency and you need to set something up somewhere and you can relay out, it works really good. I really like that. Really cool feature. I just want to be able to turn it on from the actual radio. I don't want to need an app for it. Um, it comes with an FM radio. That's a, that's a plus for the, for the GMRS Pro. Texting. The texting feature on this is really, really cool. I don't know why they took away the keypad like this has a keypad on it. And you remember how you used to have flip phones and you could text, you know, you could text people from the keypad. And, you know, we got pretty good at it at the time. And we could, I could type like a whole book real quick uh, on, back when I was a teenager and that's all we had. But I don't know why they made this without a keypad and they just introduced the app. The app is cool, but for us people who are in the preparedness community, we don't want to have our phone on us when the cell phone signals are down also trying to go back and forth between you know the phone now i got to carry my phone and the radio so I, I don't like that from a preparedness standpoint i just i don't like it at all um the radio is really rugged this is a really tough hard shelled radio um it's been dropped out in the field we've used it um it's got a good and this thing's kind of i gotta do it i gotta pry the latch and push but it's got a good battery connection I don't know if you could see that, but that is like a rubber seal for the battery. And there's the back of it. So really nice. The only thing, the only complaint about this that I really have is um, it charges like a cell phone right there. And I always worry if like mud or whatever got in there, it would just, it would just stop the connection. So I know it's convenient to have that cell phone um, thing on there, but really it doesn't, I, I worry about it. That's all. That, that's kind of a con on that thing. Um, the other cons are I need my phone to use all of the features on that radio, uh, which I don't like. I just want to activate everything from the radio. Uh, the stock antenna that comes with the GMRS Pro uh, is trash. It's like the standard Baofeng one you get with your UV5Rs. It's basically got nothing in it. It gives you no range at all. It's complete garbage. Uh, I put an expert power on this. It's a way better antenna. It works a lot better now. Um, this radio is pretty power hungry. Um, it'll burn up the battery pretty quick. I, I would say you'd only get, I don't know, between 12 and 16 hours maybe off this. So this battery is pretty power hungry. And no AM radio. Um, I wish all the handheld GMRS stuff would come with FM and AM. Um, last thing, uh, not the last thing, but one of the biggest ones is there's no keypad and they introduce texting. And one thing I want to show on that is um, how we can actually send a message. So you click here, you go to signaling, and then let's hit send message. And I'm going to try and get this the best I can, but it's just a bunch of jumbled num letters and you can click them and you can take a me and you can type a message out. It just takes a really long time without the app. So it's just something to think about um, with that one. Um, it is a hundred and fifty dollars. So that's, it's a lot more expensive than, than most of the other GMRS handhelds. Um, I have no light on this. They removed, you know, all those radios all have a light. Oh, this is already on. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. I like, I just like that feature. I think all the radios should have a little light just for when you're using something in the dark or whatnot.
All right, the GMRS9R from Baofeng. Um, this is one of my favorites. Uh, a lot of the reason is it covers a lot of boxes that I want in a radio. Um, I have a nice long battery life, and that's probably due to the screen, unlike the GMRS Pro. It's got that bigger screen with the compass and everything. It's just a little bit more power hungry. You could probably run for almost a whole day on this if you're, you know, light use, just a, a little relay back here and forth. Um, so good battery life. It is waterproof. I always care a lot about waterproofing on the radios. For us, for us preppers, we might get caught in weather or something. I don't want to have to worry about my radio equipment going down just because of a little bit of rain. And uh, I, the ones up behind me, those are the GMR or the um, UV5Rs. They're kind of dim back there, but everyone knows the UV5R. It, 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 it's not waterproof, and I see everyone that has them. I, I don't understand why those are actually that popular. There's so many other options you can get. And I know people say it's 8 watts and 5 watts, but you won't get any difference in transmission off that from my experience. Um, it does have the FM radio. I wish it had AM. Uh, the stock antenna that came with this is amazing. Um, I don't know if you could see that, but it's a lot higher quality than the ones that you uh, typically get on these Baofeng radios. So, and it works really good. I, I tested it. I've gone five, six miles on it um, in a semi-urban and environment with trees and hills and stuff, and it works pretty good. It's pushing it at five miles, so we're starting to get a little fuzzy, but we could understand each other at five miles. So if anyone's wondering about some of the range you can get. I live in a crappy area for radio, too. It's, it's trees, semi-urban, it's hills, it's all bad things for radio. Um, it's 40 bucks. This is an amazing deal for 40 I think it's like $39 actually or something off Amazon. Um, for that, I'll take it. The, the belt clip kind of sucks on it though, but I don't care. I put my radios in pouches with the pull strings and whatnot. Uh, has a light. I just showed that. It does come with the light. Uh, it's nice and durable. This is a very... Uh, Nice hard shell, just like the other one. It feels like it's made out of the same material as the GMRS Pro. Nice and tough. It doesn't feel like if you drop it, it would break. Um, has FM radio. That's what we're always looking for. Uh, a solid battery connection. The battery connection on this is even better. This is the best one that I've ever seen. It comes off nice and easy. We have our rubber gasket there for um, uh, waterproofing, and it's got uh, the similar to the GMRS Pro. So super nice and it just snaps right in. What a great design. Love that. Um, now here's the problem with this. Not a problem, but this is some features that it's missing that I really want. No audio relay and no texting at all. I cannot text from that radio. I know that's a new thing and I know that I'm complaining about, but now that it exists, I want it. I want it on all my handhelds. Uh, last thing, no AM radio, which isn't a big deal. I just want, I want FM and AM on my, uh, SHTF uh, handheld radios, which would be really good. This is the greatest radio of all time. Um, spoiler alert, it doesn't actually exist. But maybe if this video is super popular or something, somebody will make it for me. Um, waterproof, I want it to withstand rain and maybe up to like a meter underwater. Uh, it doesn't have to be like, you know, diveable. I, I just want waterproofing. Uh, I want texting on the radio, on the handheld, without using an app, and I want an actual keypad just like this. I just want a regular keypad that I could type a text message on and hit send from the radio. Um, I want it to have an audio relay, like somewhere in here where I can go into the settings and just turn on audio relay. That way I can, you know, in, in a pinch I could set this down somewhere where I need to maybe relay back to someone further away from me for the day or something. So big deal uh, for prepper radio. Like I want that. I, I really want that audio relay. I want to be able to turn it on and off from the handheld. Um, FM and AM radio. That's another thing that I want. And I want it to come with a good antenna out of the box. I mean, just, just throw this one back on. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Just a, not that crap antenna that they all come with. Um, I also don't want the antenna to be, like, really long. I'm trying to remember the name of those Nagoya ones or whatever. They're super long. I don't like those. They're just flapping all over the place, and you're in your gear. You have to, like, strap them to your back, and then you need a mic. So just a regular antenna. With these GMRS radios, 
making the antenna that wrong really doesn't make much of a difference from my experience. Um, I want a nice long lasting battery. I want it to stay on for 24 hours. If I can get 24 hours out of the battery, that would be good. I want all of this for between a hundred and a hundred and thirty dollars. Um, and I don't need an app, so you don't need to develop an app for it. So it should be able to be done. Um, I also want it to have the light just like all the other radios. And the last thing is I want the battery pack to be good. I have a B-Tech radio. I'll pop a picture of it up here somewhere. It's waterproof. The battery connection is shit. I, I just don't like it at all. It's the biggest problem with the radio. Uh, I think it's the B-Tech V2 um, radio. I have one. I'm going to post it up here. Um, the, the connection sucks. Just, just do the connection similar to this or just keep it like this. Basically, if you were to take this radio and just add the audio relay and texting to it, it would be the ultimate GMRS radio. Well, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and maybe one day, if enough people watch this video, somebody will actually make this ultimate perfect GMRS radio for us.